should be should be able to hear me now. <laughs> um, I tried a thing where I was playing some music at the top. Uh, I mean, I always play music at the top. But this time I was playing stuff that was not live, uh, relax and chill stuff on YouTube and was actual licensed stuff. Uh, kind of playing to see if I'm able to do that or not, or if like all of what I'm saying right now is going to get muted uh, by Twitch uh, for the VOD. Um, what's up, everyone? We're going to try to finish off this Mike Oming painting. Um, yeah, we can, cut, we can cut over to that. Uh, I believe the realm number nine is in stores this week, so uh, go nab it. Um, Nightwing 50, which, by the way... By the way, I thought I had, but I did not have. <laughs> hey, hey. How's it going? Um, yeah, I thought I had copies of Nightwing 50 on hand, but apparently I don't know where they are. <laughs> so, it's a cool, thick book. It's, uh, I think it's four or five bucks, but it's like a giant double issue. Uh, that's coming out. If DC sent it to me, it's coming out soon. So, you want to look for that. Everything changes for Nightwing, so I don't know. You'll you'll either love it or you won't. Look, look, look. Change is hard. Let's all just try to, you know, go with Nightwing on this, on his, on this journey. Uh, you kept Frankie me out in anger. So you opened up the stream while you wanted attention. Well. Frankie's got to learn. He has to chill. 50 coming out next Wednesday. There you go. So we got The Realm this week. Nightwing 50 next week. We're on a roll. We're crank cranking it out. I'm more, I just did a cover for Nightwing that, that I was very, very proud of. That I wish I could share with you, but I don't think I can, actually. So everybody be cool. We're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. Let's talk about this. So this is where we left the painting. Um, you guys want to talk about problems that uh, I did not have a critical eye to solve at the time, but now that it's been a little while, I, I actually see. Um, here's something that's going on with this painting. First of all, first of all, this cut is too too hard, too too rough. Uh, for a painting like this looks fine for like comics, but it's a little it's a little rough on the forehead Plus like this is where I want your focus here and like this it creates this like line right down the face and that's no good um, So there's that We got to put a bunch of detail into the dress um, But I don't know how much detail we're gonna put in it might not be as much as I originally thought because I don't know if it I don't know if it really like needs it but the other problem that that we definitely have to address is the background like we've we've kind of pulled all the focus here we've created this like swirl that's like next to her head but not not behind her head kind of thing like the composition is a little strange um because the background creates so the background creates a composition that's like very like what's what's the what's the term right down the middle it's like uh uh cut in half but the but the actual layout from oming is very like two thirds this is that's a third right that's kind of a third kind of a third there we go that's more of a third so we're fighting what's down on the page right now um we gotta fix that so uh, let's let's delete these things and and fix that. Let's try to let's try to fix the background. Fixing the background is going to be hard because we didn't work on any layers, and the figure is not masked off. So uh, we're going to do a new layer for the background, and we're going to try not to interfere with the figure too much. But if we do overlap it, we can clean it up a little bit. So let's get into it. How's How's everyone been after after I told you that all artists are a little bit crazy 
<laughs> that we all have a little bit of mania. I was actually, I, I've been, that's like all I've been thinking about, uh, my, my own mania and how to point it. I jumped in the sketchbook challenge. Do you have any, uh, tips on how to squeeze in time every day to draw? Cause you really want to do October, but you don't have that much time. You want to do it right now. And you just kind of like awkward scribbles. So yes, I'm going to talk about that right now. Cause, cause I've been thinking about the mania and I, um, I'm trying to figure out what brush. I think we use this one. Yeah. Um, so I did the sketchbook challenge for the first time in a long time today. Um, very, very light, light sketchbook challenge. I, it was like, I worked from photos, you know, and just did like a couple of expressions, um, that this girl had in this fo in these like series of photos. Now, the battle for me is is drawing every day, like like you were saying, uh, Chell and Panda. Um, that like, you know, trying to get trying to get to the to the uh, table and draw every day is like a big deal. Um, and and like full disclosure, we had that talk about my mania the last the last stream, and then. I was like, well, I've identified my mania. And then the next morning, what did I do? Let me see if I can get the retro pie online and like, you know, try to get that plugged in so I can delete some of the ROMs off it so I can tweak it a little bit. Like, even though I was aware of this thing that, that I have, uh, and I think that honestly, I think that some of my family members have as well. Um, it still didn't change anything. Like I, I still got up the next day and was like, Oh God, da I, I, I can't table this thing. And the reason that it was getting in the way to answer your question, how do I, how do you find time to draw? Like I was, I get up super early in the morning now. Um, and I know that's not really necessarily conduct like conducive for everybody to do. Um, I don't know really what we're doing to try to get this get this layout right. By the way, I'm just kind of like noodling, noodling until it looks good. I think that's what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna throw some like grads and stuff in here to kind of smooth it out. Um, but yeah, so I get up super early. The thing was is that my mania was like, hey, you're up super early. Cool, cool. Um, let's work on this thing, and it wasn't the sketchbook. So my advice to you is to just like try to do uh try to get up early and uh motivate yourself like the only way to the only way you're gonna find time for this is if you make time um and that's the kind of the reality of of all of this is that like you just you just need to make time like you just gotta you like there's a there is a ton a ton of stuff that i would love to do but don't actually want to make time for um stuff like uh painting miniatures and models um building gundams um i don't even know what gundam is about but like building gundam seems really nice to me um i don't know is this working is this is this working is this not working wow that's a lot of red um that's still a lot of red. Hey, we're going to we're going to do this. Okay. We're going to we're just going to ignore the figure. We're going to pretend we know where the figure is and ignore it. Here, I got I got need to access to the keyboard. There we go. Um your main problem is the fact that you have uh university on 3 days. So those, uh, two of those you'll spend from like eight to six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have work and homework and cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think drawing on the train? I, I'd say draw whenever you can. Like, you know where, okay, we got to mark this. So here's where the figure is. Here's where we want the focus to be. Let's figure out this background. Um, yeah, I would say, you know, you need to figure out where you have time in the day. Like, I realized that like here's here's 
here's like the lessons that I've learned trying to figure out like when when uh, when I have time personally. Like so, when I started doing the sketchbook challenge, I was like, oh, I'll just. Um, I was like, I'll just uh, do it like during my lunch break, you know, but my problem was, is that if I did it on my lunch break, then I kind of was in this mentality of like, got to get shit done. You know, um, Gundam is basically about child soldiers duty and the cost of war on a very simple level describing 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gundam, Gundam looks dope. Like Robert talks about Gundam and it makes me want to get into Gundam. Um, Robert Wilson the fourth um, uh, voted most handsome man in comics um, yeah nuts uh, but yeah so I realized that like once once noon hits even though I'm like I stopped to take a break for uh, you know to, to feed myself um, my brain doesn't stop thinking about like crap I gotta do <laughs> like I realized that like I can't I can't shift gears like it's just really difficult for me to to do that um, so I kind of realized it's like oh well if I can't do that then my options are beginning of the day end of the day because like in the middle of the day I just can't I just I just can't you know um, So I tried doing stuff at the end of the day. Sometimes I can work at the end of the day if I work digitally on like a on like my tablet, but I started hating how everything looked on the tablet. Like the tablet was just like it was just not fun. It wasn't like everything just kind of looked the same. Um I just really didn't enjoy it. Uh, the more that I worked on it, the more I was like trying to get, trying to get it to, um, work right. Like trying to get it to be what I wanted it to be. And the more kind of frustrated I got, even though I was putting a lot of time into it. This is the other thing is like, when you're trying to find time, um, it's going to be a lot of trial and error, just like anything else, like working, trying to find the right art supplies trial and error trying to find the right uh the right like you know painting method trial and error i don't know if these leaves are going to work out trial and error you know like is this right is is this is this right here we're going to do a thing we're going to use a mask to try to paint the background and, and get it right because I think we need to start incorporating the figure in and see if we're doing things right um, digital will all feel the same if you don't master the brush settings and kind of break it yeah so yeah that was my problem is like I every single thing I did digital like I this is the th okay full disclosure I really really liked uh, laying in bed and drawing like, even though my brain was fried, I feel like there's this, like, so in my discord, one of my, one of my viewers, shout out to Joel, uh, he was like, we were talking about cryptids and he was like, we should make a comic about a, uh, what was it? Kick lizard. Who's a snake. <laughs> um, you leave out coloring though. You want to get better, but you don't have the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Um, kick lizard who's a snake, and I, I was like, so you're telling me, kick lizard, who's a snake who does not have feet to kick with, and is also not a lizard, is gonna be named kick lizard, and he was like, look, I'm very tired, and I, there's like this, when you get to like this point of exhaustion at like the end of your day I feel like it's while you make more mistakes um the part of your brain that tells you oh you can't do that like that shuts off like like your inner critic 
like kind of just stops. So I kind of thought that was like, I kind of thought that was interesting. Um, we saved the lines for this, right? Hey, maybe this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, I kind of liked drawing around that time because I felt like, oh, I can just like, be more expressive, be more creative, be a little more uh, loose uh, while I was tired. Um, hold on, I'm catching up on chat. Uh, digital will all feel the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Marissa, welcome back, welcome back to the States. Uh, you leave out coloring though, you want to get better, but you don't have enough time for that and you know that uh, having too high expectations. Yeah, I would advise, if you're looking to just get into art, in general, like pick one thing and get good at that and then try to branch out. Like if you try doing everything all at once, it's like throwing too many balls in the air. You're like, it, it's just, you'll move so slowly. I mean, unless you're like a virtuoso and you know what you want. I mean, there are people like that out there. I don't know. Do what you want to do. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, let me catch up on chat. Uh, the Inktober prompt you want to do is botanical witches. So suppose you're just gonna uh, you're just gonna color important aspects. Yeah, I mean, a good thing. Um, I had a moment where I questioned if you were wrong about snakes not being lizards, and you realized lizards and reptiles not the same word. Yes, correct. Um, the Inktober prompt you want to do is botanical witches. Uh, you're just gonna color important aspects on the pics. Yeah, I mean, you can. If you're just if you're just trying to do like pop in a little bit of color on some uh, some illustrations, um, you can just like do a very limited color palette, like one to three colors, and be totally fine. Like you can usually pick like two colors opposite the color wheel, and color like use one color to be the majority of the image and the other color to be just accents and like chances are you will look good um how am i not all right we're we're kind of fast and loose with the skirt here um yeah i had the same i had the same moment with lizards and snakes and reptiles i was like these things are some of these things are these things, and some of these things are not these things. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, all right, let me see if I... Let me see if this, if this is going to work for a screen. Uh, we want the opposite. Yeah, I mean, I did, um, there we are. So this is, I needed to start to incorporate the figure into the, into the space. Um, we are working on a background. I think this will, yeah. So we can now, because we've created that mask, we can move around the background, we can tweak it, the figure doesn't go anywhere. It's because we have like a little mask here. Um, Yeah, I mean, I would just try to figure out, like, what, when you have time and what you want to accomplish and try to make time for that. I, I can, here's the thing, when I get up in the morning, I can, I have the option of, like, because I work from home and, like, most of the stuff that I work on is West Coast, like, I'm usually up well before anyone on the West Coast. And I have the option of going back to sleep, which I really want to do sometimes, or, you know, getting up and, like, getting to work. Uh, you totally want a snake named Kick Lizard? A really long case, yeah. I just picture the the Kick Lizard comic to be mostly about how 
people are like, wait, so, wait, you're, you're kick lizard, but you're, but you're not a li, you're, but, hmm, like, basically the whole time they're just, they're just struggling with the idea of kick lizard, yeah, we're on the same page with that. By the way, by the way, you guys, are you guys ready for, uh, I, I made a new, I made a new segment for this, for this stream. We'll, we'll figure out the background first and then we'll get into a stupid thing that I made. Um, man, I like that. I like the other background. How do we get to that point? Not that way. I like the other background. Shit. <laughs> uh, maybe we just... Instead of trying to, like, reinvent the wheel... What if we just... Oh god, what what is hap I'm moving the mask. That's what's happening. The mask needs to change. Guys, it's okay. I'm a professional. This is all on a professional level. Okay. I moved I moved I moved it over. <laughs> And we gotta we gotta patch it to to kind of work right. Um, rather than trying to build a new background from scratch, we just we're just I don't know trying to trying to make this work. We're gonna we're gonna blend it more into the figure and stuff too. Um, this is just gonna be like kind of proving to be a little more of a pain in the butt than normal. Um, It's okay. The thing is, is that we did, when we made this, when we made this originally, we had, um, I put down a ton of texture and then I like messed with it in a bunch of different ways that kind of like is difficult to recreate just by painting on it. Um, the trader computer sound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Photoshop, Photoshop is always playing the trader computer sound because uh, I'm always trying to get it to do things that it did in previous versions of Photoshop but it does not want to do in current versions of Photoshop um, so it basically yells at me non-stop So let's let's try to uh, incorporate the figure just a little bit by kind of like darkening this up a little bit on this side. I kind of think that, um, and it's like warmer over here. The other thing that w that I wanted to do and why I was messing around with like the leaves and stuff is like, I want to give uh, this piece context. It like doesn't have any context to it. she's just kind of like in a void and like as much as I don't want to I don't know like paint clouds or you know something like I don't want to I don't want to go in here and start like making more of a meal for myself than maybe I'm necessarily ready for um we do have to put something there you know uh So let's put something there. So yeah, I like I could I could sleep an extra couple hours or whatever. Like I could do that and like still you know, get all my pages done. But like the reality is is that I want like 
for the first time ever, and this only really works if you're on like a regular schedule, but like for the first time ever, like I, I want to get up, like getting up, waking up and like getting some work done, um, is more important to me than sleeping in. And, uh, I think maybe because like, I'm not as depressed as I used to be, uh, that could be, that could be a factor. Uh, also what could be a factor is, uh, I'm just like excited about comics again. Um, cause you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in just in general was that like, sometimes people aren't excited about comics and like, that's always fine. Like you, like I've ebbed and flowed out of comics before where like, I just, sometimes I'm like not into it and sometimes I'm very into it. And, uh, it really, it really like, it changes, it changes like anything. Um, so if you're, if you're watching this and you're like, I just can't bring myself to like get up in the morning. What's wrong with me? Do I really like comics? Yes, you probably do like comics, but like right now you're just kind of like in a downturn. Like everybody experiences that. And when I talked to um, other professionals, when I was like kind of getting over this, this was like maybe four or five years ago. Um, older professionals were like, yeah, that ebbs and flows. Like younger professionals don't really realize cause they're like, so focused in on on breaking in and and everything that like they're just like comics all day comics all day but like older professionals know that like yeah comes and goes um your schedule is probably only gonna be regular three days a week yeah i mean if you can only this is the other thing is like if you can only do three days a week do three days a week like i don't think anyone's gonna be like you cannot part like oh man by the way i was hearing some inktober horror stories from my from my discord um we're gonna start we're gonna start getting into getting into this um inktober horror stories about people who were like gatekeeping it and like uh getting upset about like digital versus versus traditional um people who were like you're you're cheating or you're like not doing it right i tweeted the other day i tweeted uh uh i'm gonna i'm gonna flatten these uh because i'm an idiot we're just gonna we're just gonna flatten it and uh we're gonna regret that later don't worry about it um, now's not the time for us to worry about it. That's future Nick Flaherty's problem. Um, super stupid art discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, is that like some people, I feel like it's a symptom of some people feel self-conscious about like where they stand um, in, in art in general. And when they see something really great that somebody approached differently, they don't know how to like process it. And, um, the reality is, is like, it doesn't matter. Like you can do whatever you want to do that. As long as you get to a good place at the end, that's all that matters. Um, so I would say that anyone that tries to gatekeep you and be like, you know, uh, Inktober's only, only traditional and you can only do Inktober if you do all the prompts and you got to do all 30, like, fuck that shit. Like I do Inktober the way you want to do Inktober. I actually think that next year, because like, I don't want to, um, I'm not going to have time to do a ton of Inktober. But I do want to participate, so I'm going to do some. But I think that next year, what I'm going to do is just work on Inktober stuff and not show anybody for a couple of months in advance so that I have some in the can so that I can post something every day 
but I don't necessarily have to be working every day. Um, you want to draw as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you can't do it all. I, I would just like, don't feel like you have to draw for anybody other than yourself. And not only that, but like anybody who tells you like Inktober is going to be a certain way. Um, it's a fucking hashtag. Like nobody's getting rich. Nobody's, nobody's, I don't know, like a king of Inktober. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Like just have fun. Everyone, we're just, we're all here to have fun. <laughs> Everybody, everybody calm down. I'm trying to beige this piece out because weren't we supposed to be that weren't wasn't this supposed to be about beige? I think this was supposed to be about beige. So I don't like this, but we're going to we're going to try to move on. That one guy's getting rich, just him, though. I mean, is somebody getting rich? I don't know. This is the thing is like, people were like, oh, this is like a Jake Parker, like hashtag. And I was like, I don't, I don't know about any of that. All I know is that like Becky Cloonan, like posted some cool ass goblins. Like that's, that's all I know about Inktober. Like, and I like cool ass goblins. I don't know. You're doing it because you enjoy, yeah. That's exa then you're on board. Um, you're drawing. You're doing it because you like drawing and you want to improve and you want to have fun. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think that you should draw it for. I don't think you should be doing Inktober for any other reason than the thing you just said. Um, contrary to ma many people who upload on Instagram, you don't care about all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the only way that like you are gonna get better as an artist. Um, is to not care about likes and to not like there's like th it's a weird weird culture um that we have now because a lot of it is uh built around um shares and likes uh yeah you draw what you want um that's the other thing too is like i didn't even realize there was a prompt until this inktober <laughs> i was like i'm, I'm just gonna draw uh, cryptids for Inktober I was like I don't know whatever it's gonna be gonna be a lot of Loch Ness monsters don't worry about it and then and then somebody was like oh here's the prompt and I was like the what the who now I don't know man like anybody who's who's trying to tell you that you have to stay this is just from my own personal experience anybody who tells you you have to do it something this way and stay in this lane those people are scared of the other lanes <laughs> like do what you want to do so I hope that all of you are uh, throwing up some Inktober um, and like I said to uh to Mike when he was here in the last stream um, I don't think Inktober is like really for the um, I mean absolutely people can participate but I don't know if it's really for the um, person who's working all the time the established artist because essentially you're just kind of like giving your stuff away kind of I mean you should be doing a little bit of that anyway just to self promote but Unless they're cops and telling you to stay on the proper side of the road. I don't know. Even those. Uh, I'm waffling. I'm waffling on those cops. We, we all know we can't trust them. Right? Right, chat? You and me. We're going to do crimes. You're on board for crimes, right, chat? You better be. You're in too deep at this point. <laughs> Uh, so we're trying to get rid of that line in her head. Um, you once figured out you could never be Jim Lee or any of your favorite artists, and then you grew as an artist. Yes, yes. Like I, I feel like once you, 
man, that stuff's tough to let go as well. Like, but once you let some of that stuff go, it gets, it gets easier. Um, man, I'm still like, I'm still trying to figure it out. And I've clocked a lot of hours at the desk in art school. And then I've clocked, uh, a lot of art hours, even this year, um, with the sketchbook challenge at the table and shit, man, I still don't like totally know where my style is or, or what I got going on. Like right now I'm kind of like looking at, um, personally, like, here's the thing is like when I see, and this is, this is like a, this is a tough thing is like, I see, uh, Let's get some crimes going. <laughs> when I see like, when you see a Jim Lee piece, you're seeing finished work. And one of the things that was happening when I was working on uh, Umbrella Academy was like, I was like, okay, well, it's got to look something like the original, like kind of, you know? Um, I'm like serious, seriously noodling the finer details in here. Um, so I was like, well, it's got to look something like this. So I was taking work that was not finished, like work on my work that I was doing on my own. Um, and then I was sitting there comparing it to work that uh, Dave Stewart had done that was finished. And I was like, why doesn't this look like this? And I was like, because it's not done. Like, I need to, like, I, after a while I had to put that stuff away because I was like, there's no way that I'm going to get anything done ever if I don't, like, put this away and, like, just be okay with with what I have going on the page right now. I think, by the way, that um, this uh, this drawing that Mike did of this woman with just kind of general disdain on her face is kind of perfect for uh, what's going on in America right now, by the way. Might be, might be perfect. Just general disdain and judgment. Um... You're highly convinced that someday you'll end up being uh, in a relationship with either an artist or a band dude or an author or a dancer. Hey, don't limit yourself. Like, I'm. I thought I was like uh, when I was a twenty-something. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna date some some punk girl, and like, I ended up being engaged to a track star. So you know what? Life life throws some curveballs at you. Oh, <laughs> be be open to experiences. Is all I'm saying. Follow your bliss. Be open to experiences. And do crimes. Those are the three things that you have to that any successful artist will tell you to do. <laughs> she runs track. Yeah, she does. She ran um track cross country for uh uf division one sec like she is she w it wasn't just like oh i ran a little little track in high school she was like running like 80 miles a week like she's she's a badass shannon is a badass um All right, I th think I'm happy with the. Well, am I happy with the face? Maybe we'll. Maybe we will. Let's play a little bit. Let's play in this space. There's a problem that like it needs to be silhouetted on that side of the face but also needs to be obscured so maybe we just like crank up the 
the it being obscured. Like this is starting to look normal to me. This is lo starting to look right. Um, what are you doing since you have time? Uh, um, <clears throat> you also have to think that three or four great artists are working on each panel, not just one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing is like right now I feel a pull between as far as like the stuff that I, I personally want to make. Like when I see work by uh, Simon Beasley, uh, Ben Caldwell and uh, David LaFontaine, uh, I, I think I got all those names right. Um, I see that work and it like it like sticks in my brain. It like resonates with me and I'm like oh I want stuff to look like that but like I you gotta let that crap go like you can't the reason you gotta be like okay well the reason that I like this stuff is because of XYZ um and then once you figure that out then it's like okay well where do I go from here you know how do I take the bits that I like and make them my own? And like that is the stuff that's like that you're going to you're going to figure out um as you work. And the wild thing is is that like the only reason I have this perspective is because of coloring. Like I think that coloring made me able to let go of a lot of baggage that I had with art um, because I have the perspective of like I've done enough coloring to know when like when I'm trying to like emulate someone or be something that I'm not it like doesn't go well and I have enough experience now to know that like you just you just take what you want to take and you just kind of move on it's it's a weird I don't know it's a weird thing but for a long time I it was hard for me to get wrap my mind around that like that you could just you could just I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is like when you put time in the chair magical things happen and like you don't know what those magical things are even going to be and that's what makes putting time in the chair exciting so I said before that because because Mike is cartooning a lot on this, and um, I don't think that, uh, you know, he himself, this is like a sketchbook page. He himself was like, this is like kind of weirdly unfinished work. So he didn't put, um, you know, like clearly put like focus here, but he was like very, very loose, like the art. Did you ever try to do the 24 hour comic challenge? I haven't. I actually, I sat down with a buddy of mine once and we sat down to do the 24 hour comic challenge and he like melted down. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to say what his name was because like, I don't want to embarrass him, but like, he just like couldn't go, like he couldn't start. And like, so I did a couple of pages and he just like drew a couple of sketches and then was just like i f i fucking can't like <laughs> so uh that was my only experience with the sketch or with the 24 hour comic challenge um i'd love to try it again meltdowns will happen yeah yeah hot pink no 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 not hot pink not yet yeah, meltdowns will happen. Yeah, 24 hour comic challenge is uh is tough. You think that it's like, "Oh, I'm just going to I'm just going to go and do this fun thing." And then like you're confronted with especially if you've like never really done a whole lot of comics before, like you're confronted with like, "Oh god, 
Like, now I have to make something. And then if you haven't, like, thought about comics or making things in general, it's tough to be like, I'm going to make something and then, like, people are going to judge it, you know? Um, oh, God, what did I do? It's fixed. We're not going to try hotkeys anymore. Layer, where are you? There you are. We you had to do the twenty four hour comic challenge in in uh, college. Damn, I wouldn't I wouldn't wish that on any college individual. <laughs> I when I was going to to college for comics, I don't think I could have done the twenty four hour comic challenge. I just don't think I. It's weird, because, like, I think I could sit down for 24 hours and make comics, but I don't know if I can make a finished comic in 24 hours. And I think that if I was going to post something on the internet, um, the nice part is where you get a breakthrough and you just don't care and you start drawing madness. See, that's what I was talking about, like, sleep deprivation sketching, is, like, you hit a point, like, when you're sketching in the evening, before you go to bed, where, like, you're just like, oh, the critical part of my brain shut off, and now we're just going to go crazy. We're gonna we're gonna work on the dress a little bit. In a, mi in a minute here, once I figure out the belly button. Yeah, uh, yeah, pick three colors and roll it. Yeah, like, anybody who's, like, intimidated by color and, like, but wants to put color down on their piece, like, dude, the best, the best advice. Like, if you look at this, we're really running with, like, two colors. We're, we're running with, like, a blue-gray and an orange, and, like, that's it. That's all we're doing. Opposite on the color wheel. Like, this is a more complex version of pick two colors and roll with it. Like, you pick, like, a, uh... If Michelangelo can do cupcake poops, Picasso can tangent to heck, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this from Wolf Mother? No. This is, this is, uh, just, uh, me working over a sketch that Oming had giving, given me in, like, a big pack of stuff. He gave me, like, a stack of stuff and was like, hey maybe you can find something useful in here to color on stream. Cause I had asked, um, he didn't do it unprompted. He was just like, here, here's what I got. And, uh, this was part of a larger sketchbook page that I just kind of like rolled with. Um, neither of the colors you name were beige, but when they come together, Brendan, <laughs> when they come together, they turn into beige. Um, is there something he did with a uh, parallel pen? I don't know. I don't know if he did this digitally or uh, if he did this with actual, like, paints and stuff. What are those things called? Real life tools? Caveman tools? Is that what those are? I think that's what those are. I don't know if he built this in a cave out of scraps, is what I'm saying. I don't know that we really need to... Like, the more that I mess with stuff, where, like, Mike has kind of, like, loosely drawn stuff in, the less it looks good. I think maybe we just, we just roll with, uh, with, uh, what we, what we got here. Um, maybe try to, like, blend and polish. Like, I do kind of like that it's, like, hazy. By the way, guys, by the way, guys, 
We were talking. We were talking about cryptids. Are you ready? Are you you like the face so much better now? Awesome. Um, we're talking about cryptids. Are you guys ready for the new a new segment on the stream? I don't know if this is gonna be a, this is this is nuts. <laughs> This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Okay, that guy over there, the Loveland Frogman. The Loveland Frogman. I'm a legit journalist now, by the way. By the way. You thought you were tuning into Photoshop, and you're getting a cryptoid. Look at this guy. This guy, he is three to four feet tall, right? Okay, 1971, a cop in, uh, in, in uh, Loveland... Ohio, driving down the road, sees three of these things. Three. So that, like, obviously, dude has a posse. Like, this is this is not this is not normal. Like, this dude, you were seeing one picture all the time with these. Three, three, three in real life. Four. I don't even know. The glove makes it weird. So he sees three of them. Right. Two weeks later, cops, a different cop sees one shoots it to death because that's what police officers do make no mistake shoots it to death throws it in the trunk brings it to the police headquarters this is like this is like uh 1971 they open the trunk and it's an iguana that is missing a tail and they were like oh well the frogman definitely isn't a real thing because it's this iguana but the dude saw three of them which leads me to believe someone who is a uh someone who read a wikipedia and b has an art degree it leads me as a professional as someone as an authority on the subject yes this this guy is real 100 percent, because there was three of them now in 2016 a group of pokemon go players said they saw it again which it has to be real. It has to be real. And, like, I think that the thing that, like, we can establish from the frogman living in the woods is two things. Two things. First of all, no pants. Three of them. The frogman fucks. Like, make no mistake. He fucks. Secondly, the frogman is just, like, living in the woods. He's de- And he's in Ohio. But he's in Ohio. So, like... The Frogman definitely also sells weed to teenagers late at night in a Home Depot parking lot. Like, those two things, I feel like, once we establish the Frogman, those two other things go together hand in hand. And so, I think that uh, this ends the first ever uh, cryptid corner with with Nick (laughs) Filardi. More breaking news, please. Yeah, that's a... that's the Frogman. I've been thinking a lot about the Frogman. Maybe too much. <laughs> now you know why me and Oming are friends. Yeah. I, uh, I've been thinking about drawing, drawing the Frogman uh, selling weed to teenagers in a Lowe's parking lot, or a Home Depot parking lot. Let's get the, let's get the branding right. <laughs> Frogman emote when? Oh no. There's the, there's the breaking news for you. <laughs> <laughs> that by the way that took way too long to put together for very little reward <laughs> uh, what why is why is it like this i have no control over this stream anymore uh hey boy it's the full year man have we been has this been happening for a full year it took us a year to get around to Cryptid Corner? Ridiculous. Welcome to High Society, my friend. Welcome back. It took us a full year to get to Cryptid Corner. That is dis- that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, Craig actually uh, helped put that together. Um, he slaved away on it. The CGI uh, normally would have cost me millions of dollars, but um, Craig just sacrificed, you know, day and night, slaving away. So thank you, Craig. Craig the intern. Mm-hmm. 
Nice job, Craig. Yeah. Right, yeah. Now that now that I have that layout, we, I guess I have to use it more. I I don't know. It's the dumbest thing. All right, all right. Um, I think we're nearing the end of this. So let's let's think. Let's think about things. Let's put in a um, adjustment layer uh, for the levels and just kind of see what happens if we mess with them. I don't like it as much. That's a good sign because usually if I mess with the levels and I like it more, something went wrong in the painting. Um, you should tell, yeah. I, this is the thing is like, I exclusively don't want to tell comic news with with that. It's going to be nonsense. Complete and utter nonsense. Have you... Brendan, you've met me. It's going to be nonsense. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. What if we do... Um, some color balance? Let's... let's yeah, I was gonna say let's put some make make some blue happen a little bit in the shadows. This is like a lot of blue, but just like a little little nudge could help offset the orange. Um, one of the things I was thinking too was we could do some kind of like special effect, like particles in the air kind of thing. Totally, yeah. I'm not the don't give me legitimate uh, uh, suggestions that normal sane people would do. It's not the not the wheelhouse that I live in. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> you don't you don't really want to color one part of your drawing because you're madly scared of ruining it. Are you working digital or are you working uh, traditional? Here's my advice to you to any and anyone else who's ever scared of ruining your own drawing. Um, well, first of all, you can you could photocopy it like you could photocopy it and try some stuff. You could try some palette stuff on the side if you want to like do do like a quick doodle and test out the tools, test out the art, test out the color. Um, you don't need to <laughs> freaking news. Cookies are delicious. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily have to, um, go from like, go cold to the page. Um, the other thing is, is that if you don't at least, whoa, if you don't at least try something like this is something that we did in art school, um, When I was when I was in art school, we did uh, a thing where we would sketch the model that we were working with, and then like flip the page, sketch the model, flip the page, sketch the model, flip the page, and we were doing like like a minute drawing, and then like a thirty second drawing, and then like a twenty second drawing, and then like a ten second drawing, and then like a five second drawing, and the whole point was to like loosen you up, but also the idea was that like every drawing you ever do is temporary um i'm just warming warming it up a little um yeah every drawing you ever do is temporary and you should treat it as such like the drawing that you made even your even your most proud drawing that you made at home that you are like i don't want to i don't want to goof this up you will make a better drawing if you keep drawing within a year, within a month. You know, like everything that you've you've created, you're gonna get better at. So, like, jump on it, make it make it weird. Um, so I was thinking about trying to make these like glowing kind of things, but now I'm kind of like maybe they're maybe they're intrusive. Um. You just checked out the Inktober prompt and you're like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I 
I don't know. It's good if you have like block or whatever, or you feel like you want to um, participate in like a very rigid thing. I can understand if people like need it. Um, but yeah, I agree. I I uh, I'm like no. I'm just gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know. You like the weirdly glowing thing? I just think it's like too. I don't know. It's. I like the texture. I don't like the. Maybe if we maybe if we go in and like glow some of them. Yeah, like I think maybe we just need to be a little more selective with uh, what we're doing as far as the glows. Was the prompt not Frogman? It should have been. It should have, the whole prompt should have been, uh, yeah, hell yeah, jump in on that thing. The whole prompt should be cryptoids. Uh... Look, look, this is why I should be, this is why I should be running Inktober. Whole prompt is cryptoids, except one prompt in the middle is young Sheldon. Done deal. This is why I should not be running Inktober. I'm gonna, maybe we'll, maybe... The, the Discord. By the way, you should join us in the Discord if you uh, if you got a moment. Um, I hang out there all day while I'm working on stuff, and, and usually in the evenings, too. Uh, also, when I go live, like, I notify everyone, and if you're a subscriber, there's a special subscriber room. Um, so, like, yeah, you have no reason to not jump into the... jump into that. Uh, young Sheldon and Godzilla playing ping pong. Every prompt is young Sheldon. Maybe, maybe the Discord, maybe the Discord and I will put together our own Inktober prompt that I'm sure won't be a disaster at all. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna do some special effects. Uh, I hate these, by the way. These like fractal things. I don't even know why I still have them. I've literally maybe used them twice? Twice ever in the entirety of my career? These, like, crazy little fractal things? Like, they just... Oh, and I have, like, smoke that I think I've used once. I think I used smoke and powers one time. Um... Yeah, a lot of this stuff is kind of trash... Uh, brushes, but I kind of like these guys. These guys will uh, kind of like accentuate these little like blips. Um, kind of like make these cool little stars kind of thing. Um, where did I get the fractal brushes? In 19 or in 2007 somewhere when I was like interested in maybe that being a thing I, I could I can give you them I hate them don't use them but I can I can give them to you if you can be trusted not to use them I will give them to you oh green lantern brushes yeah exactly I was like, I should use this everywhere, and then every time I use it, I'm like, this doesn't look good. I mean, I'm sure there will be, at some point in my career, I will have to use them for something. But, for right now, hell no. Alright. Let's... Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Is there anything that... Oh, there is one thing that I wanted to do. Yeah, those brushes on the one ring. If you want them, you're not worthy of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I would never use them, but I will always cherish them. 
Alright, alright, hold on. I grouped a group that I did not want to group. Let's group these guys, let's fold this one down. Um, the only thing that I... So this is like all the special effects that we just did. The only thing that I kind of want to do is just like soften this in places. So we have like a, like a theme of softening. Um, just kind of all over. Uh... And is this the brush that does it? That is not the brush that does it. Is this one? Maybe? I just kind of wanted to like play with the space a little bit as far as like what to push back, what to pull forward. Um, I wanted to kind of make it unfocused. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> really what you need is a brush channel in discord oh wait yeah wait why wasn't that the breaking news yeah do we have a uh, we have a new channel in the discord by the way too not to just like sit here and plug the discord i'm plugging the discord which is a hundred percent free more to you than my own comic books that i think you should buy um first of all please please buy my comic books you know i'm working really hard out here um, secondly, let me tell you about the Discord. <laughs> the The Discord, uh, I just added a brush channel to it a uh, called Tool Time. Um, Tim Allen sucks, by the way. So it's 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 partly to make fun of Tim Allen, um, and partly for you guys to throw in uh, your tools and brushes that you use. I noticed that um, uh, Simon, who's a fellow colorist, was throwing down some uh, brushes every once in a while that he was coming across. And I was like, this is really cool. I want to download these. And then like, I had to like search for them to find them again. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's just make a channel so it's easy. Remember that the realm is really good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> also by the realm. And also there's a channel for, for brushes and stuff now. Um, so yeah, you can you can jump into that. I'm going to be throwing, I'll throw in those terrible brushes that no one should ever use in there so that you guys can download them and then realize you should never use them. Um, that way you have them to never use. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can get some use out of them. I, I never did. I think, I think they look bad. Is this... Hmm, I'm getting frustrated with this brush. I thought this brush was different. Maybe I was downloading a different one? Yeah, this one's the one I wanted. It tricked me. It tricked me. My phone is ringing. You should also uh, promote your awesome Spotify playlists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I should put those in the Discord too. If you, uh, not to talk about the Discord again, but like, if you are, if you are in the Discord, um, you can also uh see what i'm listening to on spotify at all times even the most embarrassing spotify so songs you can you can listen to it all <laughs> it's uh my spotify is linked to my discord so um when i do listen to something it like pops up in there
So I'm trying to like kind of haze this stuff out a little bit, but I don't know if it's working quite the way I wanted it to. I'm using, this is a new brush, by the way, that I'm not used to using, so. I'm trying to use it in a creative, constructive way, but sometimes uh, when you do new stuff, it doesn't work out the way you want it to. We'll see, we'll see, we're trying. trying to get there. I think we're almost done. What do you guys think? Sufficiently hazy? Think we're sufficiently hazy you just started your first ash can comic that's awesome i have done a couple i did a couple when i was in college i so this year i'm kind of focused on like trying to draw regularly which the past couple of months i haven't for reasons that i've i've stated between this stream and the last stream um part of part of me trying to get to a place where i'm making stuff again is just getting me making stuff again like comfortable with uh, comfortable with, you know, hopping into, uh, the sketchbook. Um, thanks Taki. Uh, so I have made some, uh, ash cans. I did one about, uh, <laughs> we talked about cryptoids today. Uh, cryptids, cryptoids. I don't know. Um, cryptids today. And I did one about the chupacabra, uh, and some goat cowboys that were f gonna go to the desert and kill it um it was super fun the cowboys betray each other and shoot them and kill them or, or sh like you know turn on each other uh chupacabra gets away because the mythical animal creature should always win and because humanity's the real monster there's the, there's the twist <laughs> but but you haven't heard that twist before <laughs> So yeah, I <laughs> I've done a couple. I did like one about like how I don't look good in hats. I did one like uh, I put a bunch together in college, and I haven't done one in a long, long time. Um, yeah, pro you probably won't hear that twist ever again because humanity definitely uh, righted all its wrongs. Right? We're great now. Right? <laughs> so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do um some curse of the iron chef like some some point at some point i gotta i gotta refocus my mania i you agree fellow human <laughs> i gotta refocus my mania and then we're gonna we're gonna be doing some curse of the iron chef and hopefully i will make my first ash can comic in a long time uh with curse um but uh for now i think this is done if you guys are interested in checking it out i'm gonna post it to the discord to the Instagram, to the Twitter, all right up there. Um, I'm going to uh, maybe become a sports champion this weekend if we find some time. Maybe we'll do some layouts for uh, Curse of the Iron Chef. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I have time for. My weekends are always kind of like a crapshoot. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing um, some kind of color theory stuff. We're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna color some pages with just flat color. And I'm gonna slowly kind of like walk through my process um, as, as much as I can for how I choose colors and how, you know, like 
I figure that kind of stuff out. So uh, if you're into that, you're not going to want to miss it. Um, I will. I will also be watching out for the Frogman. Hey, the Frogman is real, and I can tell you because I have. I have a degree, and I'm. I've read a Wikipedia, and that degree was in art. So. The Frogman is definitely real. <laughs> Guys, unless the Frogman's after you, 